Καλή σα μέρα και καλώ ήρθατε στο Καλημέρα USA. Η σημερινή μα εκπομπή έχει μεγάλη σημασία καθώ είναι αφιερωμένη στην προστασία του περιβάλλοντο. Today on Καλημέρα USA, we're doing a special whole episode on sustainable living. We have Manny Canaris, a developer specializing in energy efficient housing. We also have a very cool non-profit permaculture that designs agriculturally productive systems located in Cyprus. That and much, much more on today's green episode of Calimera USA. But first, we have Maria Caranam Bopoulos here with us. Η environmental scientist Maria Χαραλαμπόπουλος είναι μια Ελληνοαμερικανίδα που έκανε επάγγελμα και σκοπό ζωή στην προστασία του περιβάλλοντο. Διδάσκει πάνω στο αντικείμενό τη σε πολλά δημόσια σχολεία τη Νέα Υόρκη, ενώ συνεργάζεται στενά με το Μουσείο Φυσική Ιστορία. Η environmental scientist Maria Χαραλαμπόπουλος is a New York City public school teacher and is working to raise awareness about environmental issues concerning Western Queens. Also, one of my best friends, I'm very happy to have her here. Maria, welcome on my set. I'm so happy to see you. Here. Yana, well, congratulations. I'm so happy to be here. I'm very happy for you. Congratulations. You, thank you so much. Well, you're doing wonderful things for the environment, and uh, I wanted to have you here to tell us uh, about raising awareness, uh, how we can make a change, how people can make a change to help save the earth. I think that the biggest thing that holds people back from making a change is the fact that people do not believe that they can make a difference. They feel that, how can I help the planet? And really, the best way to help the planet is globally is by working locally. And that means each one of us. That means you, me, each one working for the environment and doing our part. Tell us what issues we're facing today that are of dire uh, need for attention. I think they're all dire, in dire need of attention. I believe global warming, climate change, water pollution, air pollution, the list goes on and on. Let's start with recycling. Recycling. Let's I, tell our viewers what is a must for recycling. Yana, recycling is very, very important. Plastic bottles. Try to avoid using plastic bottles. Buy a filter. Use glass bottles instead. There's a, an area in the Pacific Ocean about the size of the state of Texas that's just water bottles that have conglomerated in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Oh my God. So it's very, very important that we each do our part. And is it because people are throwing things in the ocean or is it, is it from the waste uh, management system? I think it's both. Well, I mean, there's, I mean, there's so many problems that uh, we could discuss today, but I'd like to focus on how we as uh, citizens of the world can uh, make a difference. So what can we do to help uh, also sustain our living situation? Um, let's say we have a problem with what's going on with the, with the crisis, the financial crisis around the world. A lot of people have actually given up the city life and they've gone and they're basically living uh, on farms and they're learning how to farm. And they're just becoming, we're going back to nature. Should we also be going back to nature living in the city? I think so, and I think even buying our food locally that actually decreases our carbon footprint. There are farms even in New York City that, that are outside of New York City that we can support and going to local green markets. What are we teaching our students in school today? You're a professor. Tell us what the new generation feels about saving the earth. I think that the new generation is really excited about saving the earth because they know that it's going to impact them. And I think even something, I think education awareness is the biggest factor. And I think that sometimes people don't think that they might be affected, but just creating awareness of what is going on. Tell me a little bit about what tips you would provide to our viewers to make this a, a safer and a more healthy earth. Starting at home, even with our cleaning products, use vinegar, baking soda, essential oils, lemon, instead of using products that go down the drain and affect our water system. Of course, we mentioned plastic bottles, go for glass, Recycle at home. It's very easy to recycle, to just follow the signs and recycle. Um, there are so many different things that we can do. And I think each person can just take responsibility for their part. And I think globally, we can make a big difference. Water pollution is very scary. What we're drinking today out of our sinks is very scary. What is your suggestion for drinking cleaner water? Definitely use a filter. And if you can install a in-home filtration system, that's even better. And be very conscious of what you're putting down your drain as well. Uh, also, I think that it's important to mention to avoid bottled uh, water or any sort of liquid, because when those bottles heat up 
uh, I've read that there's a lot of chemicals that are uh, extracted and they go into our drinking water, which has caused a lot of problems for women in estrogen levels. Yes, because when it goes into the water, it becomes all estrogen, which becomes estrogen in our, in our bodies. And as we know, um, having very high levels of estrogen caused by plastics has been detrimental to women's health and hormones, as well as to men as well. Yeah. Uh, I just think we need to go back to nature. I keep saying that. I think that we really need to go to back to nature. And we're going to have a guest on, on our show, too. Two wonderful centers that are doing uh, th uh, things to change uh, in Greece, especially in light of the, um, the financial crisis. But going back to the United States, uh, we live in big cities here that have a lot of air pollution. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with the air pollution in New York and, and Queens. Well, I would say that Western Queens has one of the highest levels of air pollution, and it's been dubbed as Asthma Alley. It supplies 60% of the energy for all five boroughs of Manhattan. Oh my God, I so know that I a lot of one out of every three um, people have asthma or have had asthma or some other lung-related illness. Can this cause allergies as well? Um, no. Well, it causes just different issues with breathing. Oh my God, this is horrible news. I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> and a lot of our politicians though, are doing a lot of great things. Yes, to they've been working on it. all of our politicians. And they're Greeks, a lot of Greek politicians. Yes. Senator Gianaris, Assemblywoman. Aravella oh, Simotas, and not to, we can't forget... Of course, Peter Vallone. Peter Vallone. <laughs> so they're, they just all... Those guys go together. They're wonderful. They're doing a lot for our, our community here in uh, Queens. So we can each try to decrease our carbon footprint and not contribute further to the air pollution. You know, try to walk, bike, ride your bike, take public transportation. Maria, you're making a wonderful difference in our community and for our environment. You're teaching uh, the new generation how to keep uh, the earth uh, uh, clean and, uh, and alive. We have to keep living, and the new generation is going to make the difference. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to meet some wonderful people abroad that are going to teach us a little bit more about sustainable living. Here on 14th, a full-service salon that has a professional staff committed to providing a sophisticated, warm environment. Our expert stylists use the best products available in the beauty industry today. Come experience our superior techniques in highlights, color, cutting, styling, and more. Our Euro Laser Clinic has certified laser specialists that remove unwanted hair utilizing the Zimmer Cooling Method. Ο Dr. Peter Patetsios is a board certified γενικό endocrinologist and works συνεργάζεται με το St. Francis and the North Shore University Hospital. Το πλήρης εξοπλισμένο μας ιατρίο προσφέρει όλες τις θεραπείες αγιακών παθήσεων, διαγνωστικούς υπερήχους όλων των αρτηριακών και φλεβικών ασθενειών, θεραπεία της φλεβίτιδας με λέιζερ και σκληροθεραπεία με εξαιρετικά αποτελέσματα και επεμβάσεις που προσφέρονται στο άνετο περιβάλλον μας. Ο Dr. Πατέτσιος και το προσωπικό μιλούν ελληνικά. Για ραντεβού επικοινωνήστε στο 516 570 6818. Είμαι πολύ επερήφανος που προσφέρω τις υπηρεσίες μου στους ανθρώπους που υποφέρουν. Κάνω το καλύτερο, εύχομαι υγεία σε όλους. And we're back, and we have another wonderful person and group to feature on our show today, on our Green Show. Uh, Nicolas Netien, professor of agroecology from Greece, uh, gathered a group of friends together and they formed the Permaculture Research Institute of Greece. In light of the Greek economic crisis, they want to help people and teach them how to grow food for free and teach them about sustainable living. Nicola, how are you? Kalimera, how are you? <laughs> so I understand you are now in Cyprus today. Yeah, we're in Cyprus working on a, on a big project um, in a dry land, very, very dry place in Cyprus. And uh, we're planting now 35 hectares of polyculture, different species of uh, olives, pomegranate, aromatics, and we integrate animal system in it. It's a, it's a big, big jungle we're creating in a desert here. Well, you're doing wonderful things. You're teaching people how to go back to nature and to learn how to live off of the land, uh, which we have stopped doing. And it's uh, in light of the crisis, of course, is a good opportunity for people to learn how to sustain 
their life through uh, farming. Tell us a little bit about your forum and what you do exactly. Well, the Permaculture Research Institute of Greece, uh, we, we're trying to, to teach as many people as possible and to create also teachers uh, how to grow sustainable uh, food and how to live sustainable in a sustainable way. That we also including housing, architecture, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we started about three years ago to start the, the first courses, and we had an amazing response. And now we have tons of students going out there and starting their own project and teaching other people. Uh, it's, a, it's a snowball movement. It's moving uh, very fast, and the crisis is, in, in this sense, is a good opportunity for you know for young people. Uh, to do something meaningful with their life and to live closer to nature and you know to to be able to survive the, the very strong economic crisis we have now what if people do not own their own land what do you suggest how do you teach them where do they go to uh, grow food well there's many many different places for example a lot of people are growing food inside Athens on balconies on roofs uh, uh, they reclaim land which is not occupied, like the former airport in Agroelenico, uh, many, many places like that. But there's also a lot of people that have land and are either too old or have a job in a city and there's land share. You know, you, you grow food, uh, you give a part of what you grow to the owner of the land and in exchange you can, you know, start something there. And, and there's a lot of direct link as well, a lot of people trying to get directly to the customer you know it doesn't go through you know the usual uh, network of distribution it goes you know straight relationship between farmers and, and client it's uh, it really is uh, an amazing time in Greece right now for when it comes to that well do how long does it take for someone to learn how to farm and can they grow food to sell uh, it takes a lifetime to, to learn how to farm properly <laughs> Uh, but you you can grow food very easily as long as you know how to grow soil and we have tons of resources that we discard a uh, lot of organic waste around you know in our, in our house in, in cities and we can turn that into a beautiful compost where we can grow very easily very good food uh, the issue now is to how to find good seeds uh, that are good quality seeds resistant to disease resistant to drought uh, this is where seed bank are starting now. A lot of, it's, it's a network called Pelity in Greece, where they exchange seeds, uh, old varieties, non-hybrid. So you can save your seeds and start the year after. And uh, and now we have internet as well. You know, you have all the knowledge of the world on your computer, so you can always do your research. Once you have your basic knowledge, uh, if you if you need to know something about a specific plant, you can just you know look it up. Look or, it up, yeah. You know, yeah. Well, is there such a, are there seeds that are not uh, genetically modified today? Where can we find the original seeds? Do they exist? They do exist. Uh, it's getting harder and harder. Uh, if you want to sell them in Europe, for example, it's most of the time it's illegal. Uh, there's a big lobbying in, in, bio, in biotechnology that, um, they're trying to, to to control the seed market, basically. And but there's a lot of people growing what we call heritage seeds, you know, old varieties that are way stronger, that doesn't are not designed to grow with chemicals, but are designed to grow naturally. And those are still there, and people are exchanging them. And as long as there's no money involved in the exchange, it's, it's still legal. Uh, that's what we're doing here with the church here in Cyprus. Now we, we moved to Cyprus for a project. Uh, we, we're starting with a church uh, to do a seed bank. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. And do you work with churches or do you work with organizations that uh, uh, people uh, go to in need of food? Do you grow food and give it for free? Tell us a little bit more about what your group does. Well, there's our group is all our students now. Uh, so we're talking hundreds of people and there's a lot of different projects. Uh, there's a project here in Cyprus, uh, free food. Uh, that's exactly what they do. They grow food just for that, uh, in, you know, to, to, to give to people, uh, mainly old people, uh, old pensioners uh, that, you know, live with 
200, 300 euros a month. And so they can't really afford, you know, fresh vegetables, fresh fruit and things like that. And then there's, uh, there's a lot of different organizations. It's starting. It's still, a, it's still a bit confidential, but it's, it's growing very, very, very fast. And where, where can someone look you up and uh, be able to either get involved or we can refer people to you? Uh, we have a website, uh, permaculturegreece.gr. Uh, um, what we do also, what big part of our job is to do some networking. That means, you know, putting people together. We have a huge network of, uh, of people we know, friends and things like that. So we, we put people in connection, you know, in touch with each other and, you know, things, project starts like that and we can help with the design and people have questions, etc., cetera, et cetera. This is wonderful. Yeah. This is great. Well, we'd love to help you with that network. We're going to advertise you. We're going to put you on our social media uh, accounts everywhere, and we're going to try and get everyone connected to you guys out there. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for cool. being with us, and, and congratulations on everything you guys are doing. If I stop out, <laughs> Keep it up. Now we're going to go meet another group of uh, Greeks who got together and uh, decided to uh, form Organization Earth in Athens. They are not only teaching people about sustainable living and uh, farming, they have a museum uh, so children can see uh, how the ecosystem works. Let's go visit uh, Organization Earth, Organo Sigis. Τώρα η ομορφιά δεν απαιτεί θυσίε. Στο The Face and Body Shop θα αποκτήσετε την ομορφιά και τη λάμψη που αξίζετε. Χρησιμοποιούμε μόνο βιολογικά προϊόντα, στις βαφές μαλλιών, την αποτρίχωση και τον καθαρισμό προσώπου. Μοναδικά αποτελέσματα στη θεραπεία κυταρίτιδας και λέιζερ. The Face and Body Shop. Εμπιστευτείτε μας σήμερα κιόλας. Διεύθυνση 4021 23 Avenue, Αστόρια και τηλέφωνο 718 204 9390. Αναλαμβάνουμε την περιποίηση για τις μικρές πριγκίπισσες στα παιδικά πάρτι. Το United Brothers Fruit Market, γωνία 30 Avenue και 33ο δρόμο στην Αστόρια, έχει όλα τα εποχιακά και πευτικά, τόσο φρέσκα και λαχταριστά, σαν να βγήκαν από τον κήπο σα. Ανοιχτό 24 ώρε καθημερινά, σε 4.000 τετραγωνικά, προσφέρει μεγάλη ποικιλία από φρέσκα φρούτα και λαχανικά στι καλύτερε τιμέ. Και τώρα, αποκλειστικά για το United Brothers Fruit Market, τοπικέ φάρμε στο Long Island και Upstate New York θα παράγουν για μα εποχιακά φρούτα και λαχανικά, όπως ραδίκια, αυλίτα, σέσκουλα, ντομάτες, φασολάκια, αγκινάρες, κουκιά και όλα τα φρέσκα μυρωδικά. Ροδάκι να μεγεύσει Ελλάδο και έντεκα ποικιλίες μήλων στο Apple House μας. Στο κατάστημά μας συνεχίζουμε να προσφέρουμε άριστη εξυπηρέτηση, καθαριότητα, τιμιότητα και εξαιρετική ποιότητα και για τους πελάτες μας. 15 λεπτά πάρκι δωρεά. Και μην ξεχνάτε, το United Brothers, γωνία 30 Avenue και 33ο δρόμο στην Αστόρια, ποτέ δεν είναι αργά, γιατί είμαστε πάντα ανοιχτά. My name is Christos Zouros. I am president of Organization Earth, uh, which is an NGO uh, that uh, works uh, on the promotion of sustainable development. The center is um, a place that uh, visitors can come and uh, see some, uh, some things that uh, uh, ha have to do. The first uh, uh, thing is that uh, we have uh, an exhibition with insects. Uh, we believe that uh, insects are, are very uh, crucial to our uh, biodiversity world. Uh, then we have uh, some stables that uh, we can see, to, especially to kids, horses, uh, that uh, we can we, we tell them how our world ch changed when uh, uh, we left the, the horse as a, a, a powering uh, system and we went to uh, the machine uh, and the all the power that comes from uh, petroleum and gas. 
Then we have another ex exhibit that uh, we have some uh, very tall trees that they are more than 150 uh, years old and uh, they uh, narrate uh, a story and especially young kids uh, love it uh, because the, the, the trees start uh, narrating the story which is uh, how uh, our world uh, has been uh, like it is today. Then we have uh, a biodiversity garden that uh, four years ago was uh, the worst uh, soil that uh, we had uh, in the farm. And now it's uh, after four years, uh, it's the richest uh, place for biodiversity. So it's uh, like a magnet for biodiversity. You can see that uh, nature as uh, also the uh, mankind uh, can change very fast. Uh, then we have uh, a garden, uh, a vegetable garden, that uh, um, uh, people and kids, uh, and it's, it's biological, it's organic, uh, people uh, and our visitors get to know uh, the seasonality about uh, uh, the vegetables, uh, their features, uh, and uh, the most important of all, uh, looking uh, a plant uh, as it grows, it's a, a very big inner feeling that uh, a person can, uh, can have. Also we have an olive uh, trees place that uh, here in Greece uh, olives are a very um, important uh, aspect of our uh, biodiversity mix. We believe that uh, everything has to do with uh, history. We have to know our, what has happened in the past in order to understand what's uh, the present and uh, make a projection to the future. So uh, this, uh, when our visitors can see those uh, elements that are of the, of the past, and they can see how they, we, we progress in, uh, in design, in how uh, all things uh, work even if, if it's for, for farming. This is our, uh, our mentality, that we, don't, we, we, we can't erase our past. We in our organization Earth, we do believe that uh, we have to, uh, to work with the economy and we, we have to, to work with companies. So in this uh, direction, we created a new program, which we call it uh, Iphoria Net, and uh, it is an, an incubator, a green incubator, uh, that uh, um, welcomes uh, ideas from the public uh, and then uh, with uh, some uh, colleagues of ours help them in order to, uh, to create their, uh, uh, their uh, plan uh, so that they can present it uh, to uh, larger uh, organizations. So we uh, bring together small uh, companies, new ideas with larger uh, orga organizations and uh, we make this, uh, fa uh, we facilitate this process. Our vision is to, to, try, to try to find the right mix because it's, uh, our uh, ideology is an easy uh, thing to understand but uh, it's, it's difficult to uh, follow it because there are a lot of messages that are hitting you every day. What I want is to invite you in the center of the earth and come here and see what we have created. So I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Καινούριο κατάστημα στην καρδιά της Αστόριας. Τσακίρις Μαλάς. Τα καλύτερα και τα πιο μοντέρνα υποδήματα άριστης ποιότητας από Ελλάδα, Ιταλία και Ισπανία. Το κατάστημα που εξυπηρετεί κάθε ανάγκη της σύγχρονης γυναίκας και του άντρα. Τσακίρις Μαλάς. 3143 Steinway Street, Αστόρια. Καθώς επίσης στο 7111 Austin Street, Forest Hills και 1206 Kings Highway, Brooklyn. Το K&T Meat Market λειτουργεί υπό νέα διεύθυνση και επιμένει ελληνικά. Με φρέσκο κρέας, λάδι, ελιές, τυρί και τα γνώτερα προϊόντα της ελληνικής γης. 
και με τα δικά μας προσεγμένα σουβλάκια που θα βρείτε έξω από το κατάστημα. Προσφέρουμε το καλύτερο για τη διατροφή σας. K&T Meat Market. Περιμένουμε να σας εξυπηρετήσουμε. 3711 Broadway, για δωρεάν διανομή κατοίκων, τηλέφωνο 718-726-3301. Manolis Canaris, who has been in the construction and real estate development world for over 30 years, building very impressive, eco-friendly and energy efficient buildings. And I decided to have this backdrop because you build cities in New York. Welcome to our show, Manoli. It's my pleasure. Tell me a little bit about yourself and what your company does. We basically do a lot of affordable housing in the city of New York for the city for private development. We've built a lot of uh, high-rise and mid-rise buildings within the Bronx, Brooklyn and Queens area mostly for affordable housing. We've touched upon hotels and private residences, and our efforts are lately have been mostly towards doing eco-friendly, uh, sustainable buildings. Basically, we like to pursue energy-efficient buildings. We like to pursue healthy living. We like to pursue materials that are sustainable, that help the earth, basically save Mother Earth from all this destruction that we've been having. We deal with mold issues, uh, types of materials that we put into these buildings allow people to live a healthy life in the city of New York with all the pollution that we have. Uh, There's we a, lot it, of, a lot, a of, lot of pollution. I mean, Bronx has had the highest asthma rates. Just changing certain materials like vinyl towel, uh, using low volatile paints, using uh, wood that has no formaldehydes in it. Is that what the eco-friendly and energy efficient home is yeah. uh, about? Tell us a little bit about... Eco-friendly has a lot to do with the types of materials used sustainable materials, uh, something that doesn't have a large impact on, on, on Earth. Uh, energy efficiency has to deal with using efficiency light fixtures, efficient uh, electronic appliances. Then we deal with the consumption of water. All our fixtures, all our, uh, everything we use with water is low consumption of water. Then we deal with the HVAC systems, with air condition and mold heating systems. and allergies mold. that's causing all these so, problems. Anything that doesn't inhibit, inhibit uh, the growth of mildew. Uh, we, we wrap the buildings efficiently so now you're using less heat in the winter time and less cooling in the summertime. Basically, use a natural flow of air to help uh, cool the house, to keep the heat to a minimum. So now you're using less energy, less impact on the uh, New York City uh, sewer system, less impact on the New York City Con Edison. All of this in turn helps you build a building that's much more efficient. So now instead of wasting your money on electric, you're actually paying towards your rent. You're not wasting money on the water, on the electricity as much as you were in the past. And basically, I believe that's the that's the new wave that every 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 builder in the city of New York, with the help of Bloomberg in the city, is actually following right now. So, do you see a change in New York? Do you see it becoming more energy and eco-friendly as a city? Tremendously, tremendously. And do you believe that uh, we also, as uh, homeowners, can do things to help our homes change into sure, just, more eco-friendly? Just the simple fact of uh, recycling your garbage, uh, using less water. You're taking a shower, the, the, you're not going to use as much water. The lights will turn off when you're not in the room all by itself. It makes you more aware and conscious of your whole surroundings. This way we all can live in harmony. You That's know, wonderful. We're not complaining about, you know, You're doing a great much. thing, and we're very proud that you're a Greek American doing this. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm happy to do this. It's a pleasure. Coming from a family that, you know, came from a small island and then living in the, growing up in Astoria, you know, living in a cramped up apartment, you start to appreciate things and it's time to, to give back to figure out, you know, what would make, what have made me much happier when I was a kid. How would I be able to function a lot better throughout society? And it all starts from the home. So if you're happy at home, I believe everything else will make you a successful person in this life. Absolutely, and very wise words by Manolis Canaris, building New York a, a more efficient and a more natural, eco-friendly uh, New York City. Uh, and we're very happy to have you here. Thank you for all this information, Manoli. Thank you. Εργαστήριο επαγγελματικών ενδυμάτων Not Just Flax Inc. Διαθέτουμε και την επιχείρησή σα τα αρτιότερα ενδύματα εργασία. Με υφάσματα άριστη ποιότητα και ραφή που αντέχει στον χρόνο. Δημιουργούμε αθλητικέ εμφανίσει ομάδων, στολέ συλλόγων και σχολείων. Στη διάθεση τη ομογένεια με 30 χρόνια εμπειρία και τι καλύτερε τιμέ αγορά. Θα μα βρείτε στο 37 West Serraview Avenue, Staten Island και τηλέφωνο 347-886-0220. Homeric Tools. Πάντα κοντά στην ομογένεια, πάντα με χαμηλότερες τιμές.
Homeric Tours, το γραφείο παράδοση που επί σειρά ετών φροντίζει τον Έλληνα ταξιδιώτη με υπευθυνότητα και του προσφέρει ασφάλεια και άνεση στα ταξίδια του. Homeric Tours, το Α και το Ω για τα ταξίδια σα. Για πληροφορίε και κρατήσει θέσεων, τηλεφωνήστε στο 212-753-1100. And we're back with our chat corner here, Irini and uh, John. And John, I wore green. I know the cliche. You said, Yana, <laughs> but please I'm don't wear green. And I wore green on green day. <laughs> but Irini told me it was okay. It's perfect, and you look great. Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, one of the things I wanted to say is we give so much emphasis. We gave a lot of emphasis. We had some great people uh, on set, and we were talking about all the organic products and what we should be avoiding, what we should be eating. But we don't really think about clothes. I mean, we wear a lot of synthetic stuff that does not allow our body to breathe. Irini, do we have any companies that we can suggest to our viewers that have organic uh, textiles? Yes, actually, there are. There's, um, there are a few companies, but one New York-based one that's a great example. It's called Organic, and it's by a man named John Patrick. And there's some great styles. There's scarves, shirts, and it's either 100% cotton or 100% linen. And if you check out the website, it's called Organic by John Patrick, and he has some really nice stuff. So it's organically grown stuff. Yeah. Your skin can breathe. Yeah, absolutely. It's allergy-free. And another thing that we have to be uh, aware of is allergy-free laundry detergents. People don't realize how important that is. Absolutely, Yana, and that's what I wanted to talk about today to our viewers out there about a movie that's released this summer called A Green Story. Now listen to this story, okay? It's about Van Vlachakis, who came here about 50 years ago from Greece with $22 in his pocket. Wow. Okay, right there, that's already impressive. You know, that's a nice story for the oral history project for uh, Nikos Alexiou, go ahead. Absolutely, and what happens is he launches earth-friendly products that we all use today. They're non-toxic, they're dog-friendly, child-friendly. Unbelievable. And that's a perfect way to wash your organic clothes yeah. or any clothes. Or any clothes, if you have allergies, this exactly. is non-toxic, amazing. Exactly. So what is Green Day? It's a green story. A green story. For a green day. <laughs> it released earlier this summer. It stars Shannon Elizabeth, Billy Zane, Debbie Matinopoulos, and it's Annabella Ciora, right? Oh, yeah. Is also in it. Also yeah, it's too. great. And it's about the life of Van Vlahakis. It was, you know, transforming his life and amazing. the ones around him. So it's a great story. Well, we love these stories. We want to hear more about these stories, and we're going to go to one of these stories. Evie uh, is the owner of Face and Body Shop here in Astoria, and she came here from. Uh, London many many years ago. She's an esthetician and all she has is organic products for skin and hair. Let's check it out. Astoria has everything you need and we found a diamond in the rough. A store that's been here since 1991 that caters to everything you need to be beautiful. Hair, nails, face, body, the face and body shop has got it all, right off 23rd Avenue here in Astoria. Let's go become beautiful. Here we are at the Face and Body Shop in Astoria with our famous skincare specialist and owner, Evie Conaris. Evie, you have a wonderful story. Thank you for having us. Thank you, my pleasure. So she is a Cypriot Brit, born and raised in London from Cyprus. Mm -hmm. uh, Evie started out as a skincare specialist in London, that's where she studied. Correct. And then decided one day, she got up and said, I'm moving to the United States. That's exactly what happened. So tell us your story. Well, I had just got married in London and decided, I visited New York actually, fell in love with it and decided uh, one morning, well, I'm moving to New York. And that's exactly what I did. I started in 91. Uh, and it was actually a third of what it is now. Um, it was very small, I started working by myself, gradually hired a second dissertation and, and then grew into uh, three hours. And as we grew over the years, added more services. What type of services do you offer? Right now we're full service spa from uh, facials to skincare, all, all aspects of skincare, Massage. body care, um, uh, weight loss, inch loss I should say. Uh, massages, uh, nail treatments, hair, it's just, it's, uh, it's a completely different level. Um, as aestheticians, there's, there's only one, one level we can get to. It has changed a lot over the years. Um, from when I first started, what we were able to do was very minimal. 
Um, it has expanded a lot uh, simply because of um, the formation of products, mm -hmm. I'm going to say, because what's available now to us as professionals and to the, uh, in the retail industry, we can do a lot more. Um, as far as uh, treating the skin or with inch loss or with the hair or with anything. Um, if you go into a medical spa, it's a different profession. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you the most important question. What can we do to look younger? <laughs> well, I want to know what the uh, secrets are without having to go, because a lot of people are very anti, you know, surgery. And I am one of these people. I don't believe in, uh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not a fan of plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. What can we do to maintain and keep our skin youthful? I'm gonna say the most important thing you can do is stay out of the sun. Or if you're in the sun, I don't like that sunblock, answer. sunblock, sunblock. <laughs> That, that's, we do not that's like really this answer, especially the Greeks. We like I to know, be in the sun. I know. Oh, you no, have to protect so the skin. You have to protect your skin. That's so, going to prevent anything. Protecting the skin. Okay. And what is, what that, is the SPF level? I mean, there's so many different myths about, oh, you need to wear 90. Does 90 work or is 30 just no. the top? Yeah. Um, anything uh, between 30 and 50 is, uh, is going to do the job. And 50 is complete blockout? It'll block out most of it. It's not complete, it'll block out most of it. You can get a 10 you want with something, you can still, yeah, wow. you can. What um, hours should we be uh, avoiding uh, going to the, into the sun? It's middle of the day, middle of the day, noon. She's ruining the whole thing for me. <laughs> That's when you go inside, you relax. You go inside and relax. You come to the spa and you yeah, get a Exactly, finish exactly. <laughs> And what's in fashion now, uh, we hear, is shellac nail polish. And tell me a little bit more about that. Does that last longer? Do your nails chip? What is it about? It does. It does. It actually, um, it's um, regular polish to look at, but it's actually, um, it's dried under UV light. And the layering and the product that you use, you can keep the polish on for about 10 days. Oh. It doesn't, it doesn't chip off as, as easily as regular polish. Skin care line, I notice that you have a lot of organic products. We do. Um, our main line is um, actually the Eminence line from Hungary. It is purely organic. Um, a lot of a lot of uh, celebrities are using it. I see Madonna's very, using it. Yeah. And it what makes what is the of difference of organic and what pro, what ingredients don't exist that are better for your skin? There are no perfumes, no synthetics. Um, there are, even the um, organic ingredients they use are not GMO. Then they're not genetically modified. It's very pure. Oh, it's wow. even purer than what we eat here. Amazing. Uh, most of the products. Yeah. And as a skincare specialist, tell me a little bit about what is the exact procedure at night? We, we, we use an eye makeup remover? Begin with cleansing. Cleansing first. Cleansing. So you skin. Got eye makeup remover, facial eye makeup first, cleanser. Then cleanser. Correct. Toner. Toner. Toner's imperative, very important. Is it really? People skip it, but. We do, I skip it. Most I didn't think people it was skip it. They feel like it's an extra step that you can avoid. Um, well, what does it do exactly? Toner will restore the pH of the skin after you've used the cleanser. Um, it also, we don't realize it, but the water we use here um, has a big effect on our skin. I d I'm sure you've had experiences where people have moved from another country, let's say, and suddenly I've, I'm getting acne. I don't know why. Change of everything yes. uh, affects it. Uh, obviously the environment, the stress, whatever, but the water also plays a big deal. Tell me a little bit about hyperpigmentation, uh, uh, scarring, and what else we can do with the facial to get rid of wrinkles, scarring, or hyperpigmentation. Okay, as estheticians, we can, uh, uh, every facial we do is customized. So if you come in with any of those products, then our facial is gonna be geared to treating whatever your, your needs are. Mm -hmm. So there are different peels we can use, um, there are different machines we can use in the facial. So it's not, a typical facial isn't going to take care of everything. Yeah, we try and focus on a particular product, a, a problem, try and help you with that. And then of course there's the relaxation part of the facial as well. What we have today, and actually I'm really excited about this, is we do uh, cavitation with radio frequency. Ah, so that radio frequency can help you loosen up the fat, the t what it does, it, get rid of it, what does exactly. it do, because I'm pulling it right now. <laughs> That's exactly what it does. It actually causes the fat cells to implode. It's a, it's like a, like you're shaking it, shaking it, shaking the fat cells. They implode, and then the body will eliminate the liquefied fat from the cells. How do they, How does the body eliminate that fat? It's eliminated through natural processes, through the kidneys, through your lymph drainage. 
through. Okay, I am going to try this yeah. today. And you actually <laughs> see a difference with, with the first treatment. It is incredible. We're having amazing results. Are you serious? Yeah. So how many, yeah. okay, so let's talk about the inches. Every time you do a treatment, how many inches do you lose? It depends on the person. It depends on the area. Um, so let's say they want to lose five pounds. How many treatments do they need? It's not, it's not pounds. It's not pounds. Losing. It's fat You're, you're losing inches. 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 We will measure you before your treatment. Okay. We will do the treatment. We will measure you after the treatment. And I you can that. see it yourself. But now, I also want to do mention here to our, uh, to our viewers that it's not only inch loss, uh, it's also, how about skin tightening? And tightening. Well, that's why you do the radio frequency. Okay. Cavitation, inch loss, the radio frequency will tighten. So this is good for after. people who want to tighten their skin. There's a mm -hmm. lot of people who have lost weight that want to tighten their skin. There's people who want to lose weight. This will help them. But now, let's remember that even if you do these treatments, we have to watch our diet Absolutely. and we have to exercise so we can keep them off. It's not just as easy as, I know you would love that, everybody could just come to me. Nothing works that way. <laughs> Every week. Uh, but the truth is that in order to maintain it's a combination. Your body, it's a combination. It's a combination of it all. It is it's great. A secret, there are a lot of people Secret in the story. We just <laughs> discovered it and we're bringing it to you right here on New Greek Television, Calimera USA.